and welcome back to my um, channel. Today we are going to be making Gor making Gordon Ramsay's Hot Ones inspired chicken wings um, with a homemade hot sauce. Um, yeah, the hot sauce turned out pretty well, so let's roll up our sleeves and get right to work. So first thing we're gonna do, or so first thing we're gonna do is after you've washed your peppers, we're gonna top and um, cut our peppers in half like so. Um, I used ha one and a half pounds of peppers. I used one pound of poblano peppers and a half pound of serranos. They probably weren't hard enough. I'd probably change out the serranos for like jalapenos or something. But it's still the hot sauce still pretty tasted pretty good. So we're just gonna, as I said, stem in half our peppers. Um, do the same thing with the poblanos. And yeah, just get all these peppers done with. That looks kind of cool, not gonna lie, but cross section of a pepper. I mean, kind of looks cool. And then you're gonna realize you forgot to get a bowl big enough. So we're gonna just change that here soon. And yeah, so just keep um, stemming and having our peppers. And now we're done with that. So now we're gonna smash six cloves of garlic. Um, this hot sauce was really good on garlic and I love garlic so I'm not complaining so yeah just smash and um peel your garlic to get nice and um to get all that nice flavor out you know just rinse and repeat with the next three and then have a nice clean cutting board and then after that we're gonna put all these into a nice um sauce pot with a two cups of filtered water one third cup apple cider vinegar, or the devil's vinegar. All vinegar smells bad though, but this smells really bad. Um, so yeah, a third cup of apple cider vinegar, a little shake of salt, or a healthy shake of kosher salt, some nice fresh cracked pepper, don't use any of the pre-cracked stuff, it's not a good, and a tablespoon or a little splash of maple syrup to add some nice sweetness. And we're just gonna bring this to a boil and then simmer for around like 10-ish minutes or until the peppers and everything are nice and, um soft peppers and garlic are soft and now we're gonna add all this nice mixture to the water and peppers to a blender and we're gonna leak take off the cap as you can see and cover it with a kitchen towel and we're gonna blend it to your um desired consistency remember this does will firm up a lot in the fridge and then i'm also gonna add a little bit of xanthan gum as a nice thickener but it's gonna thicken a lot in the fridge and i added a little bit too much um xanthan gum but that's okay so i'm just gonna blend that all together a little bit more to become more into the state of homogeneity put it into a tupper a tupperware thing and then put it in the fridge okay so now while that's chilling we are going to lollipop chicken wings something i wish i've never done it's a good good skill to have so first thing you're gonna do is find where the two were for the um two boned wings or the part of the wing with two bones you're gonna find where those bones kind of attach and cut right through those so you want to cut right through between the small bone and the big bone and then you want to scrape off all the meat from the small bone all the way down, as you can see I'm doing here. Just continue to scrape that down with your knife, and then you're going to pop that small bone out by pushing. As you can see, I'm having a little trouble getting the bone off. But then once you have that, you'll have kind of like a flat piece of meat on the end there too. And then you're gonna wanna scrape all the bone of the meat down to one end of the big bone, as you can see I'm also doing here. I should have been using a paring knife. Um, lesson learned for next time, so just remember use a paring knife when doing this and be really careful because it gets kind of slippery and you don't want to cut your finger off by accident. And then once you have all the meat down on one end, you're gonna roll that into a lollipop by like um bringing the meat up through your hand and pushing up and twirling it around into a lollipop. And then you're just gonna rinse and repeat with all these um, two bone chicken wings or half boned and then make sure to have a little chicken wing fight in the end. Okay, now on to the single boned wing. So this one's much easier. You're just gonna scrape down the meat to one side and then um, roll it into a lollipop. One thing to keep in mind though when doing this is if your wing tips are still on, you wanna make sure you get those off because if you leave those on, you're, somebody, whoever bites into that is not gonna have a pleasant experience eating a wing tip. So as you can see, just um, moving and and I'm um, moving all that meat down to the end, and then we're gonna shape that into a lollipop once we have a nice clean bone at the end there. As you can see, just rolling it into a nice lollipop. 
And now that those are all in a bowl and nice and lollipopped, we're gonna pat them dry with a towel, paper towel and just make sure they're nice and dry so the seasoning will stick better and so you can get a better crispier crust when we um, lightly crisp up the skin. So now we're gonna season these with uh, some kosher salt, um, garlic powder, and smoked paprika. And then we're just gonna toss to combine. Don't be scared to toss these, toss these very vigorously. Just make sure every nook and cranny gets covered with some of that nice seasoning. It's gonna taste really good. And nobody likes under seasoned wings, so make sure you put on enough seasoning so everybody likes it. Okay, so now we're adding a few knobs of butter, or I just took like a stick of butter and then I um, just cut it into pieces to let represent a knob of butter because Gordon Ramsay never tells you what a knob is. So just kind of eyeballing it, just making your own knob really. Then doing that. And this is, and now cross blur to my um, stove top where I'm adding some olive oil. I should have probably used avocado or canola oil like Ramsey did in his um, video and his recipe. And then while you're waiting for that oil to get scorching hot, maybe do a little dance, maybe get into a drum solo from your eight, favorite 80s rock song. I mean, waiting for oil to heat up is really boring, so. Okay, so once um, your wings are ready to go into the oil, you wanna lay them down away from you because I don't want any comments saying that you made this recipe and you burned yourself with oil. It's because you probably didn't lay them away from you. And if so, that's your fault, not mine. So now you're laying the wings away from you and just gonna let those get a nice crispy dark brown crust. And also add in a few knobs of butter. In my case, I added two knobs of butter to cook. Actually, I added three, sorry. Um, that was a bit too much, but maybe just add two. And then just gonna keep rotating and kind of frying them until they get nice and crispy and the skin's really crisp. And yeah, and then um, just keep moving them around. Maybe go back into a drum solo. And just for me, I kept moving the pan around here because I didn't want the, because the butter was browning really fast. I probably should have turned the heat down, but I didn't want the butter to start exploding everywhere. Cause that's what happens if you don't move brown butter and like whisk it around, it explodes. So just be careful with that. And then just flip the wings until they're getting nice and crispy. As you can see the wings in my case are getting really nice and um, crispy on the outside, nice and brown and kind of darkish red. And they're almost ready to go into the um, oven. I probably cooked these a little bit too long here, so you sh should probably put them in the oven before I did. But yeah, go back into a drum solo. A lot of drum solos in this video. I think I need a guitar solo next one. But yeah, just keep moving um, the chicken wings around until, as you can see, they're getting really nice and good now. So I probably cooked these in the pan a little bit too long. You might want to just put them in the oven a little bit before I did. But other than that, um, yeah, these are going great. So now that those are done, um, add a little pepper in the middle of cooking for some reason and put them in a 375 degree Fahrenheit oven. For in my case, it was around seven minutes, but you should probably do it a little bit longer. I mean, you might, I uh, left them in the pan a bit too long. Okay, now it's time to make our blue cheese mustard mayo. So we're adding some mayonnaise, um, a healthy thing of mayonnaise, a healthy thing of Dijon mustard, some nice globs of um, Daisy sour cream, some a fresh squeeze of lemon, and then a uh, fresh cracked pepper, and then kosher salt. I also added a little bit of whole grain mustard. I think I might have accidentally cut that out. That's an accident. Um, so yeah, and then sprinkle in some blue tree crumbs on top. And then just, you want to mix all that together nice and good. And then you have, there you go, you have your nice blue cheese dip. And here are the wings out of the oven. They look nice and dark and rich and resonant. Okay, so now we're adding a few a few spoonfuls of our pan sauce, or pan, pan better that came out of the pan, uh, two, two knobs of butter into the wing glaze, and a few um, heaping table uh, spoonfuls of our hot sauce. And then we're just gonna toss that all together to combine to make a nice kind of chicken wing uh, glaze sauce. It's gonna become nice and homogenous and nice and, and nicely glazed. It's gonna be great chicken wings. So yeah, don't be again. Don't be scared to toss these nice and good because nobody likes unsauced wings. They most people hate unsauced wings more than they hate un their seasoned wings. Okay, so now they're done. Look at these. These look amazing. So let's try these. I can't wait to just try one. So pick one up. Um, I personally hate blue cheese, and oh my god, these are good. I don't like blue cheese, so that's why I didn't use the dip, but these were amazing chicken wings. Definitely worth um, making the homemade hot sauce and everything. But maybe try and get your own wings lollipops. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you next week.